And I want to ask you this question. Why do some people believe the truth? And why do others not believe the truth? And why do some open their arms and receive the truth? And why do others stiff arm the truth and, and keep it at arm's length? Jesus addresses that in verse 37. And he says, everyone, and this describes a, a certain group of people, everyone within a certain group, everyone who is of the truth. And to be of the truth means that you have been birthed by the truth. You have been born again by the truth. You have been sovereignly regenerated by the truth. And no one will ever be born again into the kingdom of heaven until the seed of the truth is planted into the soil of your heart. And God in heaven by the Holy Spirit then commands, let there be life and there is a, a, a regeneration that comes, life comes out of the seed of the Word that contains the truth. And you and I are, are brought into the kingdom of heaven. It is only the truth planted down in the heart and commanded by God to, to, to come alive and bring forth eternal life into this one whose soul is spiritually dead. Everyone who is of the truth, that's the cause. Note the effect. There's a cause and effect relationship. Everyone who is of the truth, that's the cause. Here's my voice. That's the result. That's the effect. And here's my voice. Does not refer to hearing an audible voice. It's much louder than that. It's the effectual call of God. It is the sovereign call of Jesus Christ to his sheep to come to him. It's the summons that draws the elect to hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. But first, a person must be of the truth. And that truth planted in the spiritually dead heart and God causes life to come. And those who are begotten by the truth, those who are birthed by the truth, are those who hear the voice of the shepherd calling them by name to come into the kingdom of, of God. But everyone that hears the voice has had the truth deposited in the soil of their heart and God has prepared that soil and tilled that soil and cultivated and broken up the stony heart and the, the stony soil so that the truth can come forth unto eternal life. And in that moment, in that split second, there is the miracle of sovereign grace as God works to open spiritually blind eyes and to open spiritually deaf ears and to open spiritually closed hearts to believe the truth.